Hey guys, so my last video I talked about the Washington Nationals. Now I'm close to completing all 30 teams in the MLB in terms of my individual team offseason breakdown. And um, essentially I break it down in two categories. What I think they should do in the offseason versus what I think they're actually likely to do in the offseason. I'm doing individual teams for all the teams. I've gotten a lot of requests. I've accommodated them. There's a few teams left and I haven't gotten all the requests yet, but I want to do them just to complete all 30 teams. And I want to do them this week, a week before the winter meetings start, before things really start picking up. Uh, and some guys have signed already, so I've taken them into account in the, in the next couple of videos. Um, but that said, I want to get to the next team, which is the Colorado Rockies. And by the way, if you're a baseball fan, uh, this channel is for you. So click that subscribe button and click the bell next to it. I uh, not only have a couple dozen videos, and a lot of them are in the descriptions down below, but I release new ones every other day, and I don't want you missing out on anything that you might enjoy. And um, and for my supporters, uh, you know, the people who are, have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I want to continue to give you good videos to enjoy. So I really appreciate your support, and I hope people in the future will, can, will, will support my channel as well because I want to get this going. This is basically a, fan, a long time fan's perspective. Instead of getting a... ESPN expert or something like that where folks are kind of paid to toe the line or paid to kind of pander and so on and so forth. I'm not, okay? This is a fan. I'm trying to give bold and at the same time realistic, um, you know, videos and predictions and options and proposals and so on. Um, yesterday I put uh, the seven, uh, seven players who I think should be traded before the next season starts. So that's down below as well. My MLB Free Agent Predictions video is down below as well and a bunch of other videos. So take a look at them. Let me know what you think. If you have feedback of your own, put them in the comments section. If you like the videos, please click the like button. And if you have any family and friends who might enjoy these videos, please share it with them too. I want to know what everybody thinks. Okay, I like to have dialogue with everybody. And I do respond to all comments. So let's get to the Colorado Rockies. Okay, Again, a team that's kind of in the running to be you know, in the playoffs. Um, they've been in the playoffs recently, and they've got a young and great nucleus. And I think that they need to make a couple of moves as well. Um, so what I think they should do in the offseason, I think they should sign Tanner Rourke, who's a starting pitcher, kind of add some depth to the rotation. Okay, I think they should actually do a shocker signing and sign Hugh Jun Ryu, who's their left-handed pitcher from the Dodgers. Steal him from the Dodgers. Okay, Steal him from the Dodgers. All right, I think he'd be a good addition to the rotation. Uh, he also can induce a bunch of ground balls as well. And, uh, and again, anytime you have the opportunity to take a player away, a significant player away from one of your rivals, your division rivals, it's a good thing. So this is my bold signing for the uh, Rockies. What I also think they should do is sign Adam Warren for the bullpen, a good veteran presence in the bullpen, who's also good at inducing ground balls. And, um, and as we know, fly balls can turn into home runs, and home runs can turn into tr to orbits to Jupiter at, at Coors Field because of the you know, high altitude in the thin air. Um, I think some of these pitches would bode well in the, in the lineup, but which would also help reduce some of the pressure off John Gray and some of your other pitchers as well. So Adam Warren would be a nice fit for the bullpen, and so would Addison Reed, another bullpen piece. So I think they should add two starters and two relievers to kind of give not only depth to the rotation with starters, but protection for the rotation with relievers who can go more than one inning. Okay, Adam Warren can be a spot, spot starter. He can be a long reliever. Okay, so you have somebody who might be able to go out to throw two, three, four innings. So it gives you versatility there. All right? So that's what I think they should do. This is what I think they will actually likely do. Um, Sam, they, I think they're going to sign Sam Dyson, who's a reliever. Okay? I think they're going to sign Shelby Miller. Now, he's had a little bit of bad luck recently, but he's still 29 years old. He's young, and he's had some success, and I think a change of scenery from Arizona um, would be good for him. And uh, from where I think he's in Arizona, but I think a change of scenery would be good for him. And um, you know, having not having the pressure of you know maybe being a number two or something, you, you put him in there, maybe put him as a number four. Uh, you might you might have some success out of him. And again, he could be a long reliever guy too. What if you brought in Shelby Miller and Adam Moore? That'd be a nice pairing. Okay, so you can each each one of them can go four, three, four innings, and then you can bring in the bullpen. Okay, and I think they're gonna sign Ivan Nova, who's. Traditionally been in the American League, but he's been and in the National League as well with the Pirates. But he's had some success. Um, you know, he's just a guy that can go in and throw 170, 175 innings, and he's coming off of um, back from Tommy John. But he's somebody who can just go in there, and you can depend on him for 160, 170, 180 innings. And I uh, you know he, he might be 150, but if you can get 150 out of a number five, he's still pretty good, especially if you got protection in the bullpen at mo on multiple levels. So I think they're gonna generally. Um, 
focus on pitching this offseason, but I would not be surprised if they made a couple low-key signings um, and add some depth in multiple areas, you know, some infield protection for Arenado, a couple of other guys. Uh, I would not be surprised at all. You definitely want to keep their heavy hitters he healthy so and give them uh, an opportunity to, you know, or be able to back them up or give them rest and bring in somebody who's a good quality player. So this is what I think they should do. This is what I think they will do. Let me know what you think of this video. If you have comments of your own, you know, or feedback of your own, suggestions, put them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. If you're a baseball fan and want to enjoy a bunch of other videos, please click that subscribe button. Uh, the subscribe button, like I said, and please click the bell next to it because I do release a new video every week. I mean, every other day, excuse me, because so a couple of videos a week. And um, yesterday I put out seven significant uh, ball players who I think should be traded before the season starts. They could be game changing trades, and even if a handful of them happen, it can change the landscape in a lot of leagues. So I encourage you to watch that. I've got MLB for agent predictions, I've got contract predictions, two videos on the Houston Astros uh, cheating scandal. And um, one of them talks about a recommended punishment for them. And a bunch of other great videos. So I hope you enjoy you know, what's out there. And thanks so much for your support. And please share these videos with anybody who you know is a fan. All right. So keep an eye out for the next one. Uh, I have a couple more teams to go. I'll be posting them this week as well. And um, have a great offseason. Go Rocky fans. Talk to you next time.